Maurits Cornelis Escher was born on the 17th of June, 1898 in Leeuwarden, Netherlands, and died on the 27th of March, 1972 in Leren, Netherlands, at the age of 73. He was known for drawing and printmaking, but also does woodcuts, linoleum cuts, and lithographs. He drew wild patterns and impossible shapes, as well as optical illusions. M.C. Escher was the youngest son of civil engineer George Arnold Escher and his second wife, Sarah Gleichman. He did his first work of art in 1916 called Escher's Father, and it was a woodcut. At this time, Escher did a lot of woodcuts and linoleum cuts. Escher attended the Harlem School of Architecture and Decorative Arts. He briefly studied architecture, but failed a number of subjects, so he switched to decorative arts. In 1922, Escher traveled through Italy and Spain and was impressed by the Italian countryside and the Moorish architecture. The designs triggered his interest in the mathematics of tessellation, which is when a shape is repeated over and over again, covering a plane without any gaps or overlaps. This became a powerful influence on his work. He started making sketches of Alhambra patterns in 1926. Escher returned to Italy and lived in Rome. In Italy, Escher met Jetta Umiker, whom he married in 1924. The couple settled in Rome, and they had three sons named George, Arthur, and Jan. The family left Italy and moved to Switzerland, where they lived for two years. Escher, who had been very fond of and inspired by the landscapes in Italy, was decidedly unhappy in Switzerland. In 1937, the family moved again to Jugel, a suburb of Brussels, Belgium. World War II forced them to move to Barn, Netherlands in 1941, where Escher lived until 1970. Escher moved to the Rosa Spierre Uys in Leren in 1970, an artist's retirement home in which he had his own studio. He died there on the 27th of March, 1972, aged 73. He is buried at the New Cemetery in Barn. My favorite work of art is a lithograph made in 1961 called Waterfall. The reason I love this work of art is because I always like the idea of optical illusion. The water in this lithograph should not be going up, it should be going down. Once the water gets to the top, it falls down and then goes back up. It just goes in a circle. That's why I think it's really cool. Another work of art that I really like is called Lizards, number 101, which was made using ink, pencil, and watercolor, and was made in 1956. This work of art shows one reason I like Escher. I like this work of art because I really think that it is clever that he could put a bunch of lizards together so it looks like a puzzle, and the puzzle pieces are the lizards. In this work of art, some of the lizards look really weird because Escher probably couldn't get the lizards to fit, so he turned them into oddly shaped lizards so he could fit them, and I really like that. A third work of art that I really like is a lithograph made in 1955 called Three Worlds. I like this lithograph because I think it looks a little realistic, and I like realistic works of art depending on what it is. The water in this lithograph looks so beautiful, and the fish looks really nice. It looks very peaceful. I also like how reflective the water is, and you can see this because of the reflections of the trees in the back of the lithograph. The detail in the leaves is great in my opinion, and those are the reasons I like this work of art. I hope you enjoyed my report on M.C. Escher.